What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here. Welcome back to some DD2. Doing my Saturday night life fruit grind. Back on the PS4, I um, got my Huntress up to level 47 now. So I'm um, not really too focused on leveling as I want to start searching for some insane mode gear. So I'm uh, going to be doing the life fruit grind. That's about the best gear I can get right now. It's at the top of my uh, capability list. Now, once I get a set of frosty gear, now that my Huntress is decent, I would probably be able to start Nightmare 1 almost instantly. But, I wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone and take the slow leveling route here and just start farming the gear as I know hell I'm gonna have to do life route I don't know 50 times probably at least so um wanted to go ahead and do it at least once or twice here live doing this uh, building with the squire and huntress only Let's see, I'm not really sure exactly where I want this. I think right about there would probably be good. Be good. Alright, and then on this side, I think I might go back a little bit further, like right about there. Then I can put the cannonballs up there on that rail. And here we want to start back a little further than I do in the, the current. PC build. Right about there should work. Alright, then I want to get some cannons in. I'm not sure how many I'm going to want here. So let's just start playing with them a little. We'll put... Let's put... Uh, what, four or five per side, maybe? I turned that one around a little bit too much. Let's see. I like them better on this rail here. Okay, so there's four. Let's go with four and see how that works out. Or see what I have left over for traps. Now, not having the Frosties in... The cannons will help quite a bit with the flyers, but still going to have to pay attention to them. Let's see. Let's go right there. I think that'll work out. Over here. Go up on this rail. See, we'll get one on the spot. The official spot. Did I get that one curved around enough? Yeah, a little bit too far, actually. So that leaves me 550 left. I, I should throw one more cannon in somewhere to kind of even out the mana g usage, the green mana usage, since I'm going to be... Let's just throw it right here. Or, you know, I didn't even look at my lane resistances. I guess I should have paid a little attention to that there. Not that that's crucial yet. Let's see. So we got... We got the mixed in the middle, which that kind of sucks. But we'll make it work. Hopefully. So now 520 left. So that's, uh, what, 25, 26 traps with the three lanes. So that's, what, 9... 9, 9, and 8. I think I'll put... Or I could go 8, 8, and 10. Put 10 in the middle. Since I got the mixed resistances. I think that's the way to go. Or actually, I don't want to use all traps at all. I want to get some blaze balloons down. I should have thought about that before that last cannon. I can always cancel that cannon. I'm so used to using elemental chaos. And 
course, don't have Elemental Chaos right now. Let's see, do we want to go three Blaze Balloons? I want to make sure there's one right on this blockade here for anything that gets blocked up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see what that's going to leave me for the middle. That's actually not going to leave me much for the middle at all. Going three. Hmm. Let's go two here, maybe. Man, I hate to do that. But whatever. Let's see, we'll go two there, so I'll go... Or this one's magic resist, so I need traps now. But I do want to put a little blaze balloon action in the center as well, even though it's mixed. Having the AoE damage is, is well worth it. Let's see. Thinking we can go something like that. I'm unsure. Let me just build out and see where I'm left at at the very end. So I know I'm going to need some traps. Let's just go one on the blockade. And then find the edge of those cannons. This is about right here. And we'll go with three right here. Let's go in front of it. Just like that. So that, that side, the middle looks pretty solid. Now that's going to leave me nine traps for over here. So if I went on with a, that third blaze balloon on this side, that would leave me seven traps over there, which I still think is more than sufficient. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that bad boy back in. Hope this works out here. This is uh, This is not tested, so... Wanted to try it live, but there's, you know, <laughs> always the chance of failure. Let's see. So I've got seven here. I'm going to put three right on top. And then I'll get four in right here on the turn. Something like that. Hmm. They're actually a little bit farther forward than I'd like. Hmm, yeah, let me tell you what, I'll s let me set them like this instead. Still not happy with, uh, with it being at the end of the cannonballs range there, but whatever. I'll take it. Let's see how it goes. I got, uh, I'll have to check and see. Hopefully there's not too much background noise. But, of course, being on the Oregon coast, and we are really right at the heart of our rainy season, so it is just pounding the rain outside. We've actually had a few power outages and such lately. Hopefully, don't have any issues tonight. see if these blaze balloons are going to do the trick. I think they are. Since I don't quite have the uh, elemental chaos yet, of course as soon as I have elemental chaos I probably won't use blaze balloons ever again until uh, maybe if I get a full set of uh, the blaze balloon passives. But I'll definitely be going to to elemental chaos then. And of course, only being, you know, 20, taking uh, 20 green mana and 20 DU, you can really throw the traps around. Combine that with the Frosty, and of course, that's the the current meta. See, I got 80-some left, and I'm t already taking a, not a bad amount of damage, but definitely taking some damage to my spike blockades. Let's take a look over here. Having these guys in wave one sucks. Let me 
check the center barricade here. Get a quick repair on it. Just need to rely on my cannons, I think, to get into that guy there. Wave one boss. How wrong is that? Of course, uh, on the 15th... Oh, whoa, something got by. Oh, these damn little skellies getting past my little mini, mini blockades here. On the 15th, the Harbringer uh, patch comes to the PC, so next weekend I will be back on the PC streaming. And really, to be honest with you, I'm not going to grind a whole lot of gear on the PS4 as I'm going to... You know, I'm going to play it and get uh, get all my guys leveled up and all that good stuff, but I'm trying... I'm going to try to wait to really do the long grind uh, once either release comes or it gets all caught up, whichever comes first. And of course, I don't want to end up doing a massive, massive gear grind on the PC and the PS4, so the PC, you know, since it's a lot further in advance or further forward as far as uh, content and updates that will be my my main DD2 uh, characters Let's see that went uh, it went all right I was a little concerned about the mid here actually got a little bit more DU left to blow another hundred so I could go with two blaze balloons or five traps I'm thinking five traps makes more sense let's go ahead and uh, trap it up over here Here's two, and let's throw three in the middle since I've got the questionable uh, questionable build going here. Just do it just like that. I'm not going to get uh, full coverage over on this side. Actually, it's not that bad. These mobs probably won't uh, come in the damage radius of that center trap, but they may. Let's see. All right, 497 left. I should probably up all these blockades. As um, you know, like I said, this is untested, so I don't really know know exactly what to expect here. And I think I can go one more wave without upgrading those traps yet. Although they are, they're cutting it really, really close. The blaze balloons are um, almost. Once you get these bad boys fully upped, they're just beast. But until then, they're not quite beast. <laughs> so I, I definitely always try to up the, the blaze balloons first. Oops, went a little heavy on that one. That's alright. Do the same thing there. Get this going here. A little uh, short notice. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night, I'm pretty sure. I'll do a long stream. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream, though. I've been kind of in the mood to play uh, a little Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Yeah, cause, of course, Don't Starve was just is so addicting. And it's got the, the new DLC for that Shipwrecked, which I'm anxious to play. I have, uh, I've watched a few videos and done a little bit of research, but I'm still pretty clueless as far as Shipwrecked goes. I think the only thing that could really be too uh, too big of a problem here with this with insane mode life right here is these flyers. The cannons are definitely helping, but they're you know they don't prioritize, of course. So unless they switch to the flyers, you're pretty well screwed. Forty 
27 left. Once we get a probably another two or three more waves in. Ooh, cannon destroyed. What have we got going? Definitely going to have to do some trap upgrades. Anyway, once we get a few more waves in, this will be substantially easier. What cannon got destroyed? It wasn't that one. It wasn't one there either. Yeah, it was one right here. That's all right. Once I get these blaze balloons fully upped, or maybe not necessarily even fully upped, but partially upped, that far left lane is not going to require any attention. Let's see, let's get that cannon laid back down. I don't know if that's where I want to put it. Maybe I want to put it farther back. Can I sneak it in over here on the rail? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I can. Alright, so we're in good shape there. And then now I need to look at these traps. I don't have a whole lot of upgrades left here. But I think some of these guys might be getting pretty low. Let's see, and then throw some repairs in if necessary. Let's see. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. The blaze balloons are still doing alright as well. I think the key, uh... It's like level 4 or 5 is really where you... Once you get past that, there's... It's going to be easy mode from there. We've got mixed emotions on this engine control trap. It's Obviously, it's ridiculously effective. But I'm just wondering if it's worth losing the green mana from some of these big guys. I mean, those guys are just a pain in the butt. And the little burrowers and stuff. You can get all those guys out of the way. Alright, looks like we got flyers coming down the outside. I think maybe five cannons per lane would have been better. I think that would help help a little bit more with the flyers. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is bad. I gotta get these cannons up or something. Is they're just, just not getting it done with the flyers. Yeah, it looks like I'll survive. As long as I can survive this wave, I'll start putting it into cannons. Back off on those traps a little. There's still no, um... Well, it'll probably be a while. But there's no sensitivity control. And I really, I really wish I could adjust that. But, whatever. I'll live, I'm certain. Let's see, t 10 left, just about there. Looks like we're going to survive, but these flyers are going to be a problem, so I need to, definitely need to up the cannons. Two baddies left. Oh, he's way over there. But anyway, hoping to get some decent frosty gear. And as soon as I do, I'll start working on getting my apprentice upped. And right now, um, you know, frosty traps at this state of the game is pretty damn OP. Oops, let's see, I wanted to do cannons first. See, that one's upped. Just get those guys repaired. How about this one? 
Yeah, up that one already, too. Man, it's pounded outside. Flood warnings and such. We're going to get so much rain tonight. Yeah, I can't wait for that Harbringer patch. I want to see what the new... Uh, play around with uh, whatever the new weapon sets are going to be. Let's see. 252 remaining. I think I'll up... I'll up this one in the middle here. And... I think those guys will survive. I hope so. Seems like I'm running a little low on on green mana. Either that or I maybe I swapped out a piece of gear that took a little health off my traps, but it seems like the traps are taking going down a little quicker than what I'm used to. Get some of these. Get that little bastard down. Oh, he died pretty quick. Piece of cake. I'm really hoping that they don't... Um, I'm not sure, since I haven't really found any of the higher end gear here, I don't... Crap, flyers again. Damn it. These guys are going to kill me here. Anyway, I haven't found any of the good frosty pieces yet, so I'm not sure what the percentages are going to be like. I'm hoping that uh, they're not the ridiculous percentages like it was on the PC. That way there won't be any people getting the heirloom items, you know, where they're, they're kind of not directly but indirectly exploiting a bit with the high frosty percentage. But I'm hoping that aspect is not in on the PS4. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be no problem. I mean, it's only wave 4, but... You can tell a lot by wave four. I don't want to get cocky and then get my ass kicked right in the end here, but my only issues really have been those flyers. And now we've got we're gonna have all the traps at least to one. Which is gonna be huge. Let's see. I'll get her I'll just get a repair on that guy. Alright, so do I have these to one? At least, I believe so. Ooh, we definitely need some repairs in over here. They're just getting too low. 27, that's... Well, let me just up that one. And that one, but this one's going to need some repair. I think that'll get it. These flyers are pushing through in the mid so hard. I'll try to get these cannons up a substantial amount as well. Hopefully the flyers won't be a be an issue this wave here. They're definitely pushing in. Get these cannons all up. They're getting close over here too. 
going to have to throw an upgrade on that. That cannon's been taking a lot of, a lot of pressure. And we got boss man coming down this lane. Should be able to tear him up quickly enough. Get a little ignite going on him. All the damn snipers, man, they are out there. Getting rolled, though. There we go. Now, what to do next here? Let's see. I think I'm just going to... Well, some of these traps are just getting low. Let's see. I think it's the... All these blazes. Let's see what these blaze balloons are like on this side. This is good, good. There's a... Well, throw an upgrade on that one too, but they're pretty good. do something about this flyer situation here. Got them all up there now. Let me bump this one a little again too since it's taking so much heat. Nothing in the beginning of that bottom. Out of that bottom middle lane. Here comes a pack. That one I'm always unsure what to do, but it seems like it's better to get rid of all these snipers than it is to even worry about the little the little burrowing guy. Nightmare 4, I might uh, change my opinion on that, but for insane mode right now. I think it'll be alright. And I think the... well, the flyers are pushing on the sides now. Maybe if I get those cannons squared away a little more. Go ahead and upgrade that. Two bosses on that side. Uh-oh. Did I speak too soon? On the flyers? I don't know where that uh, damage came from. Walls holding up fine. Give me some fat loot. I haven't looked at any of the loot yet. I'll have to look through here and see what the frosty pieces are dropping at. Let's see. See if we see any frosty pieces there. Well, there's probably a decent upgrade for my squire. Phoenix Flame, that actually may be better than what I have, let's see. No, the piece I got's a little better, I believe. Alright, what do we got? What kind of loot we got sitting over here? We got no frosty gear. There's a hardy harpoon piece. What else we got in the pile here? Or there's one. Okay, so it's only six percent on that one, so it looks like they may have you know, that's way too soon to tell, looking at one piece, but... Let's see, I wanted to see another... I hope there was another frosty piece. Yeah, that one's 4%. Now they're green, so I'm not sure. Like, I remember uh, on the PC, I had pieces 
at one time that just the one piece was like 30-40%. I think that may have been... Maybe it was like an amulet or something that had a... A really high frosty percentage. Yeah. Nothing spectacular. I'll have to get my apprentice going and uh, really get the... See what some of these big frosty pieces are hitting at. Alright, now I shouldn't have to worry about ground mobs on that side at all. Or flyers, really, for that matter. The flyers are still being a pain out here. Looking good. This was easier than I thought, jumping right to insane mode. I basically went from... Pretty much from leveling characters in uh, free play hard directly to end game insane. I didn't do I didn't do anything else on end game mode. I saw in the latest uh, little news release from Robot Entertainment as well that uh, Orcs Must Die Unchained has now got a single player. PvE mode, which I'm kind of stoked about that. I'm not, uh, you know, for the kind of, um, I guess for the playstyle I had in OMD, I think I liked it better solo, I believe. I mean, having one uh, co-op partner was fine, but I think having four in a non-multiplayer fashion where it's PvE, I think that's going to be a little difficult to coordinate. I mean, I'm sure, you know, tight-knit group of players that play together and are communicating with voice chat, you know, can get it done. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I'm anxious to try that out, but the hours are limited. And, you know, of course, with my uh, mainly late, late-night play, that doesn't really help me out too much. Yeah, anyway, I'm itching to try out Don't Starve, too. The shipwreck, it looks... Well, it's Don't Starve with a twist, you know. Got a whole new set of seasons to worry about and challenges to worry about. But yeah, I'd love to see if I could, uh, was capable of getting through... Getting through a full year and get through all the seasons. I'm sure it'll be quite the challenge. Let's see, those guys are all getting low now. Whew. Didn't realize that one was that... I had dipped that far. 56. 42 and 95. They're all good. Let's go with... uh little more attention to the flyers here wave eight so this one and one more wave to go hopefully hopefully find some pieces here I don't want to um, in fact I had thought about just doing uh, free play hard and just leveling characters and not doing any other sort of grind on the PlayStation since I put so much time into it on the PC but it but it's just hard not to it's you know, I know there's there's going to be, you know, from go knowing the history of the updates on the PC, I know there's going to be a lot of changes that hit. And I'm just wondering if it's worth it, you know, to even bother with Nightmare 4 at this p stage. on the PlayStation. Who knows? Yeah, these flyers are still getting in here. I was hoping up in those cannons, although I guess it is helping, but it's not solving the problem. 
little bit of a sketchy build. Once I can get the frosty in the mix here, this will will become ridiculously easier. But right now, of course, still uh, still leveling and limited limited on to what builds I can do. I'm a cannonball stun squire, blaze balloon huntress. Really is what most of my passives are are on right now. So, I mean, obviously the explosive trap still does very nice damage. I actually rolled through that wave quickly. No problems at all. One more betty left. God, irritating ones. All right, and for the final wave, I think we're pretty solid on the traps now. I guess we need some heals or upgrades over here. Uh, to hell with it, I'll just up them all. I don't want to. I'll up these guys. How's that? Whoops. I haven't played on the PlayStation all week. I gotta get used to the controls all over again. I played, uh, I did a little grinding. You know, do a couple max maps a day after work or whatever on the PC. Yeah, that's still, that's a solid piece. It actually, it may be a little bit better when you look at the passives in the mix. I like having that defense crit, and then plus having, you know, a little boost to the blaze balloons, too. A little bump in crit damage. As long as I can get these flyers down, this should be a good game. I really want to be able to... I really, really wish I could solo um, the 1000 maps on the PlayStation, the Greystone Plaza. Or, pardon me, on the PC. Not on the PlayStation. But I still can't do it. I've, um, I can go a few waves in to Greystone. Greystone, but I can't close the deal. And uh, those, of course, drop the same gear as uh, Nightmare 4 Incursion does. So if I could do those solo, where are these cannonball towers going down at? Over here, damn one flyer, almost dead flyer. Took out all my cannonball towers. Luckily, it's the last wave. No more flyers now, so shouldn't be a problem. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be grinding uh, life right here quite a bit tonight, but I'm not gonna stream the whole thing. I don't want to. Uh, I care for my viewers more than that. <laughs> I do not want you guys to put you guys through the grind that I am about to do. And it's, you know, that's the only downside is that this part of the game, already knowing what to expect in future updates, all things are, all it is is a grind, you know, to, to get characters leveled up and to get gear. So, oof. Ah, man, they gotta adjust that audio down for that little segment right there. Makes your ears bleed. Terrible. Anyway, let's pop out here, go to the tavern, and uh, see what, what, if anything, we got that was interesting there. Let's see, let's see. That 
what's his gloves. They're actually, they're pretty decent. Well, let me just grab everything as I'm going here. Mm, actually, not that much good, huh? Didn't really get much at all. I think there was a... Ah, it's got 13% tripwire, but no uh, defense power. That's no good. Defense health on that one. And same thing there. I think the one I have is better. It's got defense power, plus it's got, uh, you know, victory smell and phoenix luck to help buff up those blaze balloons. Let's see, what else do we have? Whoop, I forgot to, didn't sell that one. There we go. Let's see here, item power 201. Crappy. Uh, let's see that bear's chest. Ooh, I want to look at that for, uh, for my squire, for sure. What about this mythical? Yeah, that one's no good. I'm not, at this stage, I'm not saving anything for upgrades. I'm just selling it all to uh, get the get the loot. I'm going to debate on that one, so I'm going to hold that piece. And then nothing... Ugh, shit. <laughs> oh, I just sold my damn... I do that so often with the controls. I hit the button too fast. And I just sold my uh, medallion. <laughs> uh. I'm going to take that one until I get a replacement. I've done that like three times now. I don't. I just don't get what the hell I'm doing. So yeah, anyway, just a uh, real quick little short stream tonight. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. Um, I mentioned it last week, and I think either tonight or tomorrow I'm actually going to try it. I'm going to, uh, to try to stream from the PlayStation to YouTube and see how it does. I haven't streamed to YouTube on my PC in quite a while and I'm, uh, I'm anxious to see how it how it works out uh, with the PS4. So anyway, that's gonna do it for now. Just a shorty tonight. Um, that's my first of probably, oh, at least probably 10 Life Fruit runs tonight. But uh, gonna call it good for that.